Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth. So let's see what we've got happening here. Looks like I might have some sprouts. Holy cow. And a lot of worms on the tarp here, which I think I'm going to change out. I have to pick all the worms off and change it. But looks like we've got some good sprouts. Let's see what's going on here. They'll eat. We'll put them off to the side. Looks like they're making some... <laughs> Apparently my husband's found something funny on YouTube. Probably not one of my videos. So never mind the giggling in the background. So let's look at all of the things we've got to... I'm really going to have to do something about him. Please hold. Okay, where were we? Yeah, that's right. In the serious business of worm farming. Alright, so let's have a look. I have a feeling that these are probably what is left of the melon that I fed them. It's kind of interesting. Let's kind of see what we've got going on in here and see if Seems like there's a good concentration of worms all over. And they've already turned that bedding into nice castings for the most part. It is always surprising how fast the African night crawlers turn things into nice castings that are carbon. Uh, I know I bash them a little bit because they require that I have a worm bin up in my upstairs. Um, but, you know, the reality is they, they do turn carbon sources like paper into castings very quickly. Looks like I've still got some sticks. A little avocado here. Let's see if I can pull that off. Alright, let me dig in here. It's getting about halfway full now, so I'm getting the idea that I might want to do a harvest on this pretty soon. So I want to see where where we are right now as far as go down pretty deep and, and see what I've got other than more stickers. Looks, it actually looks a little dry underneath, a little drier underneath than it does on top. Hmm. Weird. So I think um, the top part has been staying moist, but the bottom part is drying out where, where I'm not feeding anymore. So I think I'm going to have to turn most of this over and add more water. Make sure I get the, the moisture right so that I can uh, have finished castings in the bottom. Because it does look like it's kind of dry down there. I've been adding about one to two liters of water every week. Um, hoping to make sure that the finished castings are completed. But now that I'm looking at the, the deeper portions of the bin, it, it's not looking uh, at a good moisture level to have finished casting. So I'm going to have to do something that I don't normally do with a, a flow-through system, and that's going to be to really mix it up. And then I'm going to have to add more water. There's no way around it to get the, the bottom of the bag at the appropriate moisture so the worms can complete their task and also for them to be comfortable. Um, looks like most of the, the leftovers are avocado based. Looks like they're zooming through the bedding faster than... well, actually there's no food left in here either. 
Not sure what that is. Oh, my stupid compostable bag. All right, let me go grab some water. I didn't think I was going to need to do that. No, the furnace isn't running all the time, but uh, I guess I'm wrong. Let me go grab some water. All right, I think before I feed them, I'm going to make sure that I get everything nice and wet in here. Maybe the water that I added in previous weeks didn't soak down deep enough. So I'm going to put this leader in and then I'm going to fluff it up again and then reevaluate if I need to add another leader or not. I thought by kind of putting things around the edges like this that it would keep the worms down deep uh, wet enough, but I guess not. So I'm going to put this on high speed. And I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, let's take a look and see what I accomplished in the moisture department. Still, the upper part seems pretty good, but as I get down to the bottom here, it does seem drier so I think maybe I'll mound it up here on the side and squirt some of the water a little bit lower yeah see I'm getting getting kinda dry stuff down here at the bottom alright so this is going on two liters of water here so let me go grab them some food I'm not sure if you guys know what this is, but uh, I used up the rest of my garlic to plant garlic for the year. And these are the braids. These are the garlic braids. And I can't think of any worm better suited to uh, eat these than the African night crawlers. Let's see. I also have the top of a pineapple, oops, and some mango bits. Kind of dig this in a little bit, and then I'm going to cover up everything with some moist bedding. My coconut core just came in the other day, so I will finally be able to make my proper bedding and all the paper won't stick together. Okay. Now, I don't like this as a top, but I don't have anything else right now, so I'm just going to reduce it, get all the worms off of it, pick off all the little baby worms, slowly get them. There wasn't any worm jerky this time, but um, I don't like them getting stuck on top. So, as soon as I find something else appropriate to put on top of here, I will... I don't know. I think I'm just going to put this in a bucket of water. Get the worms off that way. I'll have to find something else to put on top of there. It's too annoying. Can't do it. Alright, well, they've been fed, they've been moisturized, and they've got more bedding. I think that's uh, as far as we can go with the African night crawlers. I had hoped that I was closer to doing harvest, but uh, looking at the moisture level at the bottom of the bin, not so much. Uh, well, it'll have to wait. So um, I'll have to go back and look at the videos and see how long it's been since I started the bin. Maybe it's not even time. I don't know. 
But if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my Worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, it ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.